Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Cindy Wong, a fourth year pathology resident. And today I'd like to take the opportunity to tell everyone a little bit more about what is it that a pathologist does. So last time I had mentioned that a pathologist is a doctor's doctor. And what I meant by that is we help other clinicians and surgeons figure out what is the best clinical or surgical management for their patients. As pathologists, we do tissue diagnosis, which I mean by that is we will be provided with a small piece of or sometimes very large piece of organ taken out from a surgery, and we will take sections of it and put it onto a slide and we look at the h &E slide and that way we can tell what is going on with the patient. May it be for a colonoscopy, they give us little tiny pieces of your colon and we'll tell you if it's benign, if it's a adenoma or it's malignant or something even more larger. For example, uh, a patient with IBD will get a colon resection and they give us a, their colon and we'll basically tell them, hey, this, is, this colon is um, UC or this colon has uh, Crohn's disease and we'll let them know if we see anything that is suspicious for malignancy in these specimens. So that's what I meant by tissue diagnosis. And how this helps clinicians is that, for example, if you are a person who have a patient who is having heart failure and they're very young and you have no idea why they're having heart failure, sometimes it, it might help if they take a little biopsy and give it to us and we'll let them know under the microscope, hey, we see giant cell myocarditis. And that is something that has its own course of management and treatment that the clinician can go back to the patient and be like, okay, this is the diagnosis you have and this is how we will treat it. Um, another way we do this will be um, during the OR time where a patient is getting, say, their cancer resection and the clinician takes a little piece of tissue and they send it down to pathology and we stain it up right there and within 15-20 minutes we could let them know, hey, yes, this is the piece of, um, from piece of cancer that you're looking at or we'll be like, no, this is just some benign tissue. And another thing sometimes still do very importantly is margin checks. If you're a patient who's getting your uh, cancer resected, they want to make sure that they don't leave any of the cancer behind. So they'll take out the main specimen and then send me another piece of tissue saying, hey, this is right where we resected. Is there any cancer left? And I'll take a look at that piece of tissue and be like, yes, there is cancer left. And when I say that, the surgeon will probably go back and cut out more to make sure they don't leave anything behind. So this is what I mean by we are the doctor's doctor. We don't really have direct interaction with the patients, but we do play a very important role in patient care through the patient's individual um, doctor or their surgeon. So other things pathologists do includes uh, medical autopsies. This is where if a patient dies in the hospital and the doctor taking care of that patient still have lingering questions about the cause of death or you know what was the cause of the event that brought the patient to the hospital and has such a bad hospital course so we will perform the autopsy to hopefully uh give them a little more information but honestly sometimes it's we'll just tell them exactly what they already know other things that pathologists do includes uh cytopathology which is um something called fine needle uh, biopsy or aspiration. Something like this is uh, a patient comes in and they have a palpable with like basically something you could feel underneath the skin that they want to do a quick biopsy of and see if it is something of concern or some benign thing. Things like uh, a patient who has a known history of breast cancer and there is a lymph node in their like armpit area and their breast surgeon wants to know if that is possibly a malignant lymph node. And if it's something that we can feel, we can stick a little needle through it a couple of times. By doing so, we'll draw off some of the cells within that lymph node and we'll be able to look at it under a microscope right away and within 30 minutes of doing that biopsy we could be able to say hey this looks just like a normal lymph node or we like hey there is um, some malignant cells in here and that will drive the breast surgeon's management of that patient going forward. 
So yeah, there's actually a lot of things we do and that what I just described is kind of on the uh, anatomical pathology side and pathology there's a whole other aspect which is clinical pathology and this is basically all of the different labs that have the hospital have like microbiology lab they also have a cytogenetics lab a molecular lab and i think the biggest one is probably the blood bank uh where not what i meant by biggest i think the one that most clinicians know well about is the blood bank and that's where all of the blood supply for a hospital is being held and the pathologist in the blood bank will be able to help guide clinicians about their blood utilization because blood is a precious drug and we can't just give it to whoever orders something for their patient. Uh, for example, platelets. There's not many platelets in a hospital. In a given hospital, sometimes you really only have like say 15 to 30 some units of platelets. And if every doctor who has a patient who's slightly bleeding wants a platelet, that could make the hospital inventory very low. And that is a dangerous sign for a hospital, especially because if an unknown trauma comes in or some unexpected complication in surgery happen and patients need more units of blood. Having a place that says this is the best way to use our blood supply is kind of an important function of the hospital. That said, all the other labs I've mentioned are still very important function of the hospital and it's actually these labs are the things that most doctors don't even think about when you know, the ongoings of it, like they'll order a uh, CBC and um, they'll order a lipid panel or whatever. And then in a, like a couple of hours um, to a few, like a day, they will have the results back and they'll directly that clinic to a patient. But I don't think most people think about the pathologist that makes sure that if there was any critical values that it needs to be reported accurately. And it's kind of the behind the scenes of the hospital. I think the best way to describe all of pathology as a whole is that we kind of are behind the scenes and making sure a hospital runs smoothly um, on top of being a doctor's doctor. <laughs> so with all of that, I really hope that I convinced at least some of you to consider pathology and maybe at least doing a pathology rotation in medical school to give it a try to see if this might be something you're interested in. Well, I think that's it for this video. If anyone wants to know more or have any questions, leave a comment down below. And, you know, as always, like and subscribe. And I will hope to see everyone soon. Bye.